are the important topics from inorganic chemistry? Uh, in inorganic chemistry, the basic, uh, uh, if you talk about the important topics, let's just try and understand so the Mach's distribution in this particular topic. You can see here, metallurgy is basically getting a 1 plus 2 distribution, that is a total 3 marks distribution. Generally, the questions that appear here are related to the uh, gold, that is your silver and gold extraction and how does exactly cyanide play a role in this extraction. That is one of the most important topics in metallurgy. You'll always find a question coming in there. In case of P-block elements, you can see one. this is the heaviest topic if you compare it all the different types of chapters that you have in chemistry. You, this is one of the heaviest chapters and it will always give you a 5 marks question, no doubt about that. Gen typically, you might have this bifurcation as well, but this is a seldom coming bifurcation. This is something that you'll always have. So prepare yourself for a 5 marks question from B-block elements. D and F block elements typically they they stick with a two plus three bifurcation because in this case and in this case uh, specifically talk about the different properties like atomic radius and your lanthanoid contraction. These are some of the questions that are always a compulsion. They, they always appear in no matter what. Then we move to coordination compounds. Now in coordination compounds, uh, one of the questions that you are guaranteed is the IUPAC nomenclature associated with the uh, co complex compounds. And in this case, uh, and in the, in the case of D and F block elements, again, uh, act properties of actinoids. Uh, the, because these have some uh, a little different kind of properties, so you should be actually aware of them. You will get a two marks question or something like that in this.